Hey guys, and welcome back to the second part in installing my home patch panels or rack. Since the last part, we've mounted the beams that I will use to put the cabinet on top of. I managed to get it in there, but it wasn't without some wall or rather plaster damage. Still, it's in there and very sturdy. It should support the patch cabinet without issue. On this side, I had to build a bit different construction because of the angle I needed. It ended up just as sturdy as the wall brackets. And I connected together the wood using these angle hooks so it wouldn't be visible from the front. I've also installed some duct tape covered hooks on the back of the wall to carry some of the weight from the cables. As you can probably tell, the way I used the cables left them way too long to mount directly inside of the patch cabinet. I intend to use these hooks to hold some of the weight of the excess cable. Yeah, this construction should hold that patch cabinet just fine. Here is the patch cabinet prepared with power bars and the door and side panels removed. The room has become even more of a mess, but I've finally gotten all the cables sorted. I sorted the cables per room and how I wanted to lay them out on my patch panels. I created a text file beforehand with all the patches in the house and on which positions on the panels I would want to have them. I did it kind of like you see on the screen right now. I used Velcro to tie the sorted cables together so I can mount them easily on the patch panels. I tried my best to untangle everything, because this is the last time I will be able to reach the cables this easily. Next to the patching panels, this is all the equipment that is going to go into the rack. Here's the router and the switches I talked about in my previous video. Behind that we see two power injector panels. I ended up using only one. These are different from the PoE switch I showed in the previous video, where you basically input a data wire and it injects power on that wire and you then have a wire with power and data on it. I use these to feed my access points and security cameras and in the back you see some wire arrangement panels to try and make everything look nice and neat. Okay, I managed to get the patch cabinet on top of the beams. Without the glass front door and side panels, it wasn't that hard. I used the holes intended for the feet to secure the panel to the wooden beams using a few screws. And now it forms a very sturdy hole. Looking inside, we also see the two power bars which I mounted on the back bars of the cabinet. As you can see, I left both the bottom and the top opening open to feed the cables through. I'll mostly be using the top opening, but the bottom opening will also help with ventilation. And a little bit of advertisement here. Networkwinkle.com helped me get all the right equipment and answered all the questions I had. 
If you ever need some stuff and live in the Netherlands or the Benelux, be sure to check them out. Looking at where I mounted the patch cabinet on the beams, I left a larger space on the left side of the cabinet than the right side, so that I can still get behind the equipment and on the side of the patch cabinet on the left side. And on the right side, I had to leave enough room to be able to open the door because it protrudes when it opens up. Wall damage still visible. Derp. What the hell's going on? I think she's gaming and losing. Oh well. Maybe she won't mind the wall damage that much then. Let's hope so. Fast forwarding a little bit, I mounted all the keystone into the patch panel and I zip tied them off. And I routed all the cables into a neat bundle, which I then fed through the top hole into the cabinet. And that's it already for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, give it a like and uh, maybe follow for the next video. The next video will be the last part in the installing the patch panel rack series, where I will be installing the equipment and uh, the cable guide panels, etc. And uh, I'll also tell you a little bit more about the setup and how I connected it all. And of course, what it ends up looking like. So, hope to see you there. Comments and questions are always welcome down below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.